Broadway. He's going to give you a little wrinkle. It's going to be a strike. We yeah. got a problem. Now you're beginning to wonder, right? You know, you go back and I don't think there was intent on Villarreal's part, but I think very clearly both benches are going to clear. Joey Votto's the first out of the Reds dugout. He's coming right to the heart of this whole thing. They're trying to push each other away. So far, it's just pushing and shoving. Now, you wondered last night when Blanton hit Bird, was there something going on? And it didn't appear that Villarreal's was intent. But here with a three nothing lead and Brandon is being held back. Brandon is irate. They're tussling by the mound. There's pushing and shoving everywhere. I think about half of the players are trying to separate and the other half are trying to get to the middle of it. Skip Schumacher's in the middle of it. And Brandon Phillips they've been able to keep out of the middle of it. Todd Frazier there. Freddie Benavides in the middle trying to separate people. Now I don't think that Villarreal hit no McCutcheon on purpose and you remember Cowboy we went through a couple of years where these two teams really went at it back and forth. Well every time McCutcheon gets hit whether it's by mistake whether it's a curveball a change up the Pirates retaliate mm -hmm. he's their main guy. But the problem that you have with throwing at Brandon Phillips you have to remember the Pirates were the ones that broke Brandon's wrist years ago. And that made for a very rough circumstance for Brandon Phillips. Jay Bruce is trying to separate people and they're not finished yet. There's words going back and forth and now here we go back in the middle of the diamond again. And Jay Bruce sense it wasn't over and that everybody in the red side was heading back to the dugout and then Bruce jumped in front of well, Skip Schumacher was telling talking to Francisco Cervelli and that's what escalated this a second time. And here comes Josh Harrison <laughs> who was in the clubhouse and of course not on the bench he's on the disabled list and he runs out there so. And you're not supposed to be on the field if you're on the DL. Mm -hmm. Now the, the words aren't ending. They're trying to separate Joe West trying to get everybody back. Kerwin Danley in the middle of it too. They're just trying to split the two teams. And. This one just won't die. And before this is over, this is going to get ugly. And it is. Now there are some punches thrown. Now there's some Frazier's in the center of it for the Reds. Well, Marlon Bird is very upset. I, I know he was upset from getting hit last night. Yep. Well, it starts with a player being hit, then the words start, then a shoving match starts, and Joey, not often you see Joey. Joey is in the middle of it. At first, you thought he might be a peacemaker, and he's in the middle of it. Yeah. Sean Rodriguez is probably the most vociferous right now. Marlon Bird and Sean Rodriguez are the main issues at this point in yep. time. Well, we had two years of seemingly every night you wondered who would get hit first. Then it's quieted down the last two years, but we're right back where we were a couple of years ago, Cowboy, right now. You can see it. Clint Hurdle's got his arms around Rodriguez trying to keep him out of the middle of it. Well, 
they finally split them up. You know, when we went downstairs after the game last night, Cowboy, you, you wondered when Marlon Bird was hit where that might have come from. When Rodriguez yelled across at Bird, you knew that there was something there. Yeah, I don't. I, I did not. I did not think that Villarreal hit. I agree. McCutcheon on purpose. I mean, it, but it, I had a little it, question mark when Blanton just smoked. Yeah. Out of nowhere, because he was down and away, down and away with a changeup, and all of a sudden, one right at the head. And you can't help but wonder. Now, you can always give the pitcher the benefit of the doubt. The ball got away trying to get in on Bird. That's where you try to pitch Marlon Bird is in on his hands. But when you miss right at the head, and, and let's face it, in last night's ball game, had Bird not gotten his shoulder up at the last second, that ball would have squared him in the ear hole. Now, at first, I thought Joe West was writing something down. He's just cleaning off his glasses. Maybe that's good news because it's West's decision if anybody's being ejected from the game. Right. He's talking to both Brian Price and he talked to Clint Hurdle. We'll see if any action is taken. Well, there, there's no doubt that Watson hit Brandon Phillips on purpose. But the problem that you have, and it looks like Sean Rodriguez, is, Sean Rodriguez has been thrown out of the ball game. You would think so. There. When, when you look at how this transpired, there was no warning issued when McCutcheon was hit. So that really allowed Tony Watson to do whatever he wanted to do. And at this point, Watson can't be thrown out of the ball game. Oh, it appears that Bird and Rodriguez, we haven't heard anything yet, but it appears that the two of them have been ejected. We'll see. Looks like Travis Ishikawa is coming on to first base. Yep. Take you back to last night when Blanton came into the game, right on the top of the shoulder, missed hitting him in the head by just inches. And I, I'll be honest with you, I thought that Marlon Bird showed tremendous restraint yep. by not going to the mound. And McCutcheon hit in the back there. You could see that Barnhart was set up inside. When Bird was hit, they were not setting up in. And that was a no doubter. You know, and the other part of that, when Gunn came to the plate, one pitch later, Villarreal's pitch was, was up, up and in. in. So, I mean, again, it was spinning. It wasn't a fastball, it was a breaking ball that was spinning. And Brandon gets plunked. And then it was on and Bird out of the dugout immediately came out. Joe West got in the middle of that. So Bird it appears has been ejected. Rodriguez has been ejected. This will be a very interesting finish to this season because the Reds play the Pirates quite a few more times yep. before we finish this bad boy up. Good to have a little edge. And Brandon's on his way back out to first base and he'll get a rousing ovation from the Reds fans. And, and Brandon showed some restraint too. Billy Hatcher was the first to grab him to make sure he didn't get out there. Well let's see if the Reds can turn this into something.